always be wary of people that are going to predict wars, are going to be short, they're going to be relatively bloodless, and there's going to be avengers a couple of battles, and that's it. Be very wary of those people, uh, because every time you hear about it, it doesn't happen. Most notably the Civil War, and we'll see it again during World War I. But nonetheless, uh, a lot of people during this time period are going to think that this war is going to be very short. It's going to be one or two battles, it's going to be relatively bloodless, and we're just going to resolve everything, and it just it, everyone's just going to come back to their senses. Uh, but the only person I say, whoa, wait a second here, I don't think so, is going to be the General-in-Chief by the name of Winfield Scott. So let's talk about strategy. And before we talk about strategy, we need to define it. Because uh, today's, in today's society, we actually uh, think strategy and tactics mean the same thing, and they don't. Uh, strategy is your overall plan. For example, uh, you know, it, Let's talk about college football. And, and uh, the first year that the uh, Texas A&M entered the, the SEC, it beat the University of Alabama in their in their football game. And how did they do it? Uh, well, one uh, one plan, one strategy could have been, and uh, one that I would uh, I would have empo employed uh, is the is a, a strategy of of, of keeping. The, uh, an off, the offense on your field. All right? You keep the ball. Uh, it's an offensive strategy because the fact that the, the, you can wear down the Alabama defense to the point where they can't stop you uh, from scoring points. And that's, you know, if, you, if you watch that game, and especially if you watch the game before that between LSU and Alabama, that's exactly what happens. Alabama almost loses that game. Uh, but, they definitely, but they do lose from, against the Aggies because the offense, the Aggie offense, really wears down the defense. Well, that's strategy. That's your plan. How are you going to do it? That's your that's your tactics. How are you going to maximize the amount of time that you keep the ball in your hands? Well, you can do short runs, short passes. Don't go for long Hail Mary bombs uh, that, that's going to score touchdowns in 15 seconds. That's not the way that you beat Alabama. Well, that's that's what that's what tactics are. Tactics are basically the way that you're able to accomplish your plan. The North strategically has a much difficult war, all right? What, basically what it has to do, occupy the South. Winfield Scott's plan, known as the Anaconda Plan, is basically threefold. Sail down the Mississippi, split the Confederacy into, into two. Not in half, but in two. Then, of course, uh, blockade Southern ports. Blo you know, nothing goes into Southern ports, nothing comes out. And then, of course, march against Richmond. You have to take major centers. The South, on the other hand, has a much easier time when it comes to strategy. What does it have to do? Not lose. That's the difference. You know, that's the difference. It doesn't have to win. It just has to not lose. Counter invading armies. Lengthen the war as much as possible. Inflict as many casualties as possible. Make the North lose interest. That's the Southern way of of trying to win this war. Uh, and we'll see that, that, that there's, you know, that's the ideal way of doing it. Uh, we're going to see that they have this offensive defensive strategy that gets kind of convoluted. But nonetheless, Winfield Scott is, you know, is the man who's going to come up with this plan. It's called the Anaconda Plan. And it's really a term of derision because when you think about an anaconda, remember, it's a snake that kills by constricting its prey, by suffocating it. Suffocation, you know, death by suffocation is going to, you know, it takes a lot, you know, it takes a while. It takes about three minutes. Uh, whereas, you know, I mean, if you wanted a quick strike, you would use a rattlesnake or a cobra or a black mamba, killing within minutes, you know, call it the cobra plan or something like that. Uh, that's what a lot of Americans want. Uh, Scott's going to say, no, 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 this is, that's not going to happen. It's going to be a much longer war. We're just going to squeeze economically the South uh, and pressure it to, uh, to basically collapse. But nonetheless, with the addition of Virginia into the Confederacy, the Confederate capital is going to move. It's going to move from Mobile, Alabama to Richmond, Virginia, just 90 miles away from the United States Capitol. And as a result, what we're going to see is public pressure bearing down on the Lincoln administration to move on Richmond. To In fact, the, 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 the headlines are going to be forward to Richmond, forward to Richmond. And so uh, what we're going to see as May, and as June starts coming about, and eventually we get into July, Lincoln is going to have to bow down to form to this outside pressure to get moving, to get the war started and, o and over with eventually. Uh, and we're going to see that that's going to have um, some very dire consequences.